Hi folks, it's good to be with you and love to everybody out there. My website is jasonburnspreacher.com. You can get me on Facebook and you can get me on Twitter and it's good to be with you. And I just want to talk briefly and quickly concerning evolution and the implications of evolution and creation. In Hebrews chapter 11, uh, verse 3, it says, Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. I'm increasingly worried about ministers and leaders who are beginning to believe in evolution or believe in uh, that there wasn't six day creation but that it took millions of years or billions of years uh, to create the universe that we see today. And I just want to give some thoughts against evolution and to make people think about the implications of evolution. Now before I give you the implications of evolution, I'll give you an argument against evolution. In your body, you have, uh, your DNA has, you're just one slice of your DNA has billions of bits of information. Times a billion by three billion. One billion, three billions. That's how much information you have in your body. And that is supposed to have happened by chance. So the statistical uh, argument proves, shows that evolution cannot be correct. Now, what are the implications of evolution? If, if there is no God and we evolved, then there is no purpose to your life. There is no meaning to your life. There is no morality. And when you die, you just go to the dust. So that's the implication. No meaning, no purpose, no morality. And when you die, you just go to the dust. If there is a God, and God created the universe and the world, there is meaning, there is purpose, there is right and wrong, and you go to heaven or you go to hell. That's the implication of creation and the implication of evolution. And if you were to take the implication of evolution in those areas, it actually negates itself. It negates rationality. If there is no purpose, reasoning that evolution has no purpose is a purpose itself. So you cannot negate reason. If you applied evolution to the rational process, it would negate it, evolution would negate itself. So I'll just explain. Evolution, there's no purpose. So that means rationality, there is no purpose. But in order to establish evolution, you need to be rational, which is purposeful. But evolution is not purposeful. So there is a contradiction within the evolutionist system. It cannot account for rationality. There's a contradiction there. Rational, uh, evolution, there is no purpose to, to history, no purpose or anything, to anything, okay? No purpose. Reason is purposeful. So the two clash. So the evolutionist uses reason to say that evolution is correct, but evolution within its system, there's no purpose, which would negate or show that evolution, uh, that reason it is not reasonable. It destroys rationality. So within the very system of evolution, it negates itself and negates reason. All right. But ultimately, the, the purpose of evolution is there is no purpose. There's no meaning, there's no purpose, there's no morality, and there's no life after death. Those are implications that people who f believe in evolution don't actually follow. Every day you don't live with no meaning, you live with meaning, but evolution, there is no meaning. But your own life contradicts what you believe. Every day you live with morality, right and wrong, but evolution, there is no right and wrong. So again, you're contradicting what you believe in. So nobody can actually believe properly evolution and actually follow it to the, to the bone, because if you did, uh, you would live as a nihilist, you would live uh, as a hedonist, and uh, you would completely uh, become uncivilized. So, 
what's the point in believing evolution when when those are the implications? Now you might say, well, it doesn't matter what the implications are. That doesn't say whether it's true or not. Well, that's what the logician might say, and that's what the thinkers might say. But if your belief has a negative outcome, then you need to think about that belief. If I have a belief that um, just going around randomly shooting people, that's my belief, right? And then I go out and start shooting people. I've got to think about the implications of that belief. I've got to start to question that, that this is not a good way to live. That it can't be the right way because of the implications of what's happening with my behaviour. And as evolutionists, you've got to think about the implications of your belief in this belief system. Alright, thank you for listening. So it's, it's just interesting to look at the implications of creation evolution. Alright, thank you for listening. God bless you.